everybody, it is Sandy from Books and Beauty for the Ages. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. We love to have you. If you can enjoy what you see today, if you consider hitting the like button and subscribe and ring the bell for future notifications, I would much appreciate it and it would help my channel. If I'm a little off seeming today, I am, I'm exhausted. I haven't slept and for a couple days I'm on steroids for a respiratory infection and still dealing with the pain, but that's just about gone. So, I mean, that's a good part. Anyway, on this channel, I like to do unboxings. I like to do product reviews. I like to do subscription unboxings. I like to review books on occasion when I can get to them. And if that sounds like something you'd like, and maybe you'd like to see what I got in this box, stay tuned. Okay, so I ordered this subscription. It's not a subscription. It's a advent calendar <laughs> um back in september and i just got it the other day it's the um p louise budget box edition magic in the memories um i ordered this and then i ordered one of their budget boxes and it was supposed to have come in october and it is now december 2nd and it has not shown up yet I've emailed them like crazy and nobody's answered me yet. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, right? Okay, so let's get into this box and open it up. When you open it up, it's not like a regular advent calendar. It's a bunch of boxes in here. So we might have to go fishing to find what we want. So there's a ten, nine. <laughs> We'll do a countdown. 10, 9, 6. 10, 9, 6. I'm just trying to get to number one here. 3, 4, 5. <laughs> I'm trying to get to one. Let's see. 2. Good number 2. 7 and 8. I figured one is the very last one down the bottom. There's number one. They come in these cute little pink boxes. I mean, I like this little house. I don't. I may save it. I may not. It, it depends if I can figure out anything to do with it. So let's see what we have in day one. Now, I paid like $57 and some change. Actually, pounds. I paid pounds. So I will try to figure out the conversion rate and let you know what I actually paid for it. Okay, the first thing we have in here is P. Louise Skin, the final strawberry lip sleeping mask. Ooh, I love lip masks. That's cool. Of course, all this stuff is, you know, safety sealed, which is a good thing. It just makes getting into it really difficult. I'll see if I can. Otherwise, I'll just show you the boxes because... I know you don't want to be here all day watching me ripping open packages that I have a hard time with. This is going to get messy. There's going to be paper everywhere because it's coming off in little tiny pieces. It's not the easiest stuff to get off. So it's now December. How are you all doing on your holiday shopping? Are you done yet? Have you not started yet? For the first time ever, I have not really gotten started yet, so not good. <laughs> okay, I finally got it open. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Take a look at the packaging. That is just so cute. That's adorable. And it is safety sealed deo protection i don't i don't really smell the strawberry maybe you like taste it at some point oh man down on oh, the first one i've already dropped something that does not bode well 
It doesn't bode well for me today. Okay, so that was number one. This is a sleeping mask. Not mad at that. I like that. Let's see if we can find number two. Number two comes in the same size box. It's very pretty boxes. Reusable. And then there's another P. Louise skin here. And this is Give It a Rest Eye Cream. So that's kind of adorable. Let's see if I can get it open. This is what the outside packaging looks like. You need to have my little tool over here. This is like very, this wrapping is very difficult to get off. You certainly can't get it off in one piece. Also, don't mind my nails. They are kind of a wreck. I took off my um, gel nails that I got done at the salon because everything that's been going on, I haven't been feeling good and I just I didn't have time to make an appointment to go get them done and they just grew out horribly. So, oh, wow, this stuff is like really wrapped up. Like, wrapped up and it takes like 5,000 years to get the packaging off. Okay. One eternity later. Okay, so I may not open everything because this is just... A bit lengthy. We'll be here all day. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, that's a pretty jar. It's a very pretty jar. Here's the top of it. And some writing around the sides. It's learn to rest and not to quit. Is what it says. Let's see if we've got a seal on there. We do. There is a safety seal on this, so I'm going to keep it sealed because I've got a lot of eye cream and I don't want to open this one until I need it. So, okay, that's number two. Let's get to number three. Number three comes in this bigger box here. Number three is in some bubble wrap, which is good. And it is skin bling. No such thing as too much bling. You dream of bl a beam of blinding blow. And that's where it's go. And the name of the color is Hollywood Hills. Okay. Let me see if I can get out of here so you can see it. Okay. Oh, oh, almost. Oh, I love this packaging. It's so cute. Take a look at that packaging. With the clothing and the letters and stuff. That's pretty gorgeous. Um, it's also very yellow. This might be a good eye topper. I don't know about using it for highlighter. It's a little on the yellow side for me. But we'll see. We'll see. But, like I said, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. You've got great packaging. I'm impressed with that. Okay, so that was number three. I'm just going to throw everything everywhere. All right, and eight, number four comes in this long box. Uh, what do we have in number four? It's another app thing. It's called Kiss and Makeup, ready to link up and make up. It is a lip kit. I'm guessing it is a lipstick. Oh, yeah. It's this color of lipstick, if you can see that. Ruby Slipper and Rose Garden. So, this is kind of really uh, on the red side. So, I'm going to leave this in the box and I'll probably put this in a future giveaway because it's just... It's too red for me. I don't. I'm not a red lipstick person. It just doesn't look good on me. Meh. Cute packaging, though, again. Sorry, I'm living on coffee today. Okay, so we're up to number five. Five comes in this package. If we can get it out, oh, it's kind of, uh, it is very, very jammed in here. Okay, this is the cheek of it, a flirty flush of color. So this is obviously a 
cheap thing. And luckily it's not wrapped up in plastic, so I can get it out. Um, oh, that's a pretty color. It's a very pretty color. So that's what the packaging looks like. Let's see if it's safety sealed. Now this is one of those ones that you push up. I don't know if I have to like twist it. Oh, maybe push down like so. I don't know. I'm not sure how this works. Let's see. See if I can get it out. Oh, yep, yeah, something's coming. Something's coming out. Oh, dear Lord, this is hard to... It's hard to get out. It's a very pretty color, though. I got in the back of my hand, and that's a cheek blush. It's a very faint color. Looks like that after I've splooched it out onto the sponge. So that's cute. I'm obviously keeping that since I swatched it. Okay, so that was number five. Let's go to number six. Here we go. Number six is in a big box. And there are 12 days in this calendar. Okay, it looks like we might have some kind of a palette or something. It says it takes two. It says it takes two. It's definitely a film theme throughout all of this. And it's got the little best friend thing in the end, the necklace charms. There's the outside packaging. Very pretty. Oh, I'm like, wow. I've never seen this before. The, I'll try to show this and keep this on so it doesn't glare too much. But I don't know if you can see that, but there's lights here. There's a light here, lights there. So when you open it up, it lights up. That's, that's pretty neat. And then uh, these are the colors. Very pretty. Very neutral type colors. Uh, let me swatch one of the, sorry, I've got my, I've got my coat on today because it is freezing outside. Wow, that's a, that's kind of a mustardy yellow color. And then let's do the frost and see how that comes out. Not bad, but it doesn't show up really that well. And that's what that looks like. So that's interesting. I, I have to say, I've never seen an um, eyeshadow palette with lights before. Have you? Let me know if you have. Let me know if you have this. All right, so that was six. Let's go to number seven. Number seven is... What is this? Oh, zero to 100 real quick. Thick formula a lip gloss. So that's a lip gloss. I'm assuming that's what the color is. So that's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's an interesting color. Yeah, that's pretty actually. It's kind of like a peachy. It's kind of a peachy color. It's right here. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So that was number seven. We'll get through this quick enough. We get to number eight. Number eight is wet and set. We don't say sorry for setting high standards around here. So I'm guessing this is setting spray and spice cake. Wet and set setting shadow. Wet and set setting shadow. Spice cake. Okay, I've never heard of wet and set shadow. And it's like that color. I'm not sure what to do with this. It says setting shadow, so. I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's take a look at it. I was hoping to get some of her bases in here, but so far, 
not seeing any. Although this might be like something like it. It's, yep, that's kind of like what the collar looks like. Let me pop this off and put it on the other. Oh, hello. That was a little messy and entirely way too much. <laughs> way too much. Um, I'm not entirely sure what you do with this. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, I don't think it's a base, but it says it's a setting thing. I don't know. Does anybody have this? If you do, let me know and let me know what it's supposed to be for. Is it just liquid eyeshadow or... I'm not entirely sure. It's confusing. All right, so now we're on to nine. Oh, there are only... Did I miss some days in here? This is not a 12 day. Maybe it's a 10 day advent calendar. That is bizarre. I don't see any other. No. So I'm guessing this is a 10 day advent calendar. I'm going to have to find out. Um, Yeah, I've only got 10 days in here. So. That's strange. Uh, next thing is fall in line. And I'm guessing this is a liquid liner and I don't use liquid liners, so I'm going to leave this in the box. It is two different colors and they're both like on the brown side like this. And yeah, I wouldn't use that. And then number 10 seems to be the last one. It's not like they ran away. So 10 day I think calendar. It doesn't mix a budget advent calendar, huh? And the last thing in here is Rise and Shine Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Start your day with a glow. And that's what the packaging looks like. I'm not going to open this because I've got a bunch of hyaluronic acid serum that I'm working on. So I don't want to, you know, get the clock going on this. Um, and I guess that is it. That is a 10 day advent calendar. Has anybody else got this? If you do, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. And that'll be it for this one. Um, I hope you all stay beautiful, stay blessed, and be true to yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.